Welcome to Stamp Joy. Good morning, crafty friends. It's Alicia again and Crafty Days, AKA Lisa. I forgot to say yesterday in the video, if you don't already subscribe to her here on YouTube, go do that. I'll have her link in that description box below. So we're ready to go check in. We um, are wearing our Oso inspired t-shirt today and Lisa made us these fun little badge holders that say Stamp Joy. And then we have our little agenda in there. So we're gonna go get checked in and hopefully have a great day. To get to the event, we just had to go down to the second floor of our hotel and then take the skywalk across to the convention center. Then when we got in there, just like we already mentioned yesterday, we were just gonna follow the group to try to get to Stamp Joy. Being this close to the event was really handy throughout the weekend. It's just up ahead to registration. Well, we made it to where we register, so we did find it, thank goodness. We just followed the crowd. We are both in line now to register, but Lisa and I did have to split up because our last names are different now. So it's quite a bit of a line. We'll see how quickly it goes. We're super excited. Um, we talked to some people walking on the way over, and I think it's gonna be a good day. Although the lines were a little long, it went pretty quickly, and I actually got done in time to see Lisa get her swag bag, and funny story about this, I saw somebody carrying it in line, and I'm like, oh, that is such a neat bag, how awesome, because a lot of people were making their own shirts and stuff for the event. Well, little did I know, that's what our swag came in. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see everything that came in there. We headed upstairs to the ballroom, which was huge. We got some breakfast refreshments and we waited for Taylor to make her appearance. Welcome everyone. How are you doing today? Are you ready to get started? Woo! Okay, well this place is a little bigger. We've been here in the past, so I can't hear you. Are you ready to get started? After Taylor did the introductions and kind of told us how the day would go, we had a little meet and greet with some fellow crafters that we hadn't met yet. We had a couple nice ladies come to our table and Taylor actually came to sit with us too while we chatted about who we are, where we're from, and how we got started crafting. Once that was done, Taylor was back up on the stage for the first round of prizes. Yes, I said first. There were probably six rounds of prizes throughout the weekend and just tons of extra little goodies, which you'll see as the videos go on. Once the prizes were given out, it was time to get started on the make and takes or your classes, whatever you had scheduled for the day. Quite a few people headed to their card class downstairs and the rest seemed to divide up between the make and take stations around the outside of the ballroom and out in the little store in the lobby. Lisa and I decided not to go to either for now and we spent some time looking at the table scatter. Now I bet you've never been anywhere where you can take free stamps off the table as a little parting gift. That what are you doing, great. Lisa? I'm searching for one that says hand stamp from Iowa. Good oh, luck. Yeah. Out on each of the tables were some overruns from custom stamps that Tailored Expressions had ran. And it was kind of a little treasure hunt. You went from table to table to see if one might have your name or your state. Lisa did eventually find an Iowa one, and I did snag a Nebraska as well. 
Out in the lobby was this Get Inspired display, and it had tons of samples using tailored expressions, stamps, and other products, and wow, was it inspiring. It was also a little funny, as you'll hear here. I thought that said, oh shit, take, I forgot your birthday. <laughs> Shiitake. <laughs> Right next to the display was a life-size grumpling, which of course we had to take a photo with. And then also out in the lobby were a couple hands-on demo stations, as well as the store where you could shop throughout the weekend. They had a special discount all weekend for attendees, as well as a free gift if you spent $100. Lisa and I decided to check on the hands-on demo stations first since they were the least busy and at the first one we used the new mini blender brushes to create a little piece of art with stencils. The next one you use the mink machine to add some foiling to a pre-printed piece of cardstock. You could choose gold or silver and let me tell you after seeing how the mink was with foiling, Lisa and I both have our own on the way. It does do such a much better job than a laminator. Once we had both been wowed by the mink machine, we went back into the main ballroom and did a couple make and takes. Here's a look at the kits we each got with our packages for each make and take. And you'll see here that each table was set up so nicely with everything you could need. While we were at the second station, they made an announcement that lunch was here and that it would probably be a good idea to go ahead and stop after the current make and take and eat lunch. So Lisa and I did that. You pre-ordered which meal you wanted. Today, Lisa and I got the turkey sandwich with a little rice side dish and a lemon bar. After we ate, we noticed that the make and take stations were pretty much empty. So we rushed over to one and we were actually the only people there for a little while. I do want to just right now give a special shout out to all of the volunteers over the weekend. They had at least one person at each station to help you with your make and take. And let me tell you, those ladies were so helpful and so kind, and the weekend could not have went on without them. So thank you so very much. At two of the tables, I actually met volunteers who came from Nebraska. I guess we should have carpooled. And one of them actually knew who I was. Once Lisa and I had made a few more make and takes, we decided to give the store a try and it was much less busy than before. So we got to shop to our heart's content. They had tons of stamps, dies, stencils, pre-printed card stocks for foiling, and each of the make and takes used as some kind of stamp or die set or stencil, and they would have the complete stamp set or the stencils over on the right and they were labeled for each make and take. There were also some exclusive products only available at the event and you can see by this photo Lisa and I had a lot of fun in the store and we both did get the free gift for the weekend. Are you having fun Alicia? I am. Are you having fun Lisa? Awesome. Well one thing that a downfall so far we need some caffeine and all they had is water or coffee, I guess, is caffeine. But that's not my idea of caffeine. So we're going to walk back to the room, drop off our goodie bag, and pick up some pop there. And our purchases. Yeah, we're going to drop those off. We won't talk about how much we spent. We went back to the hotel room, got something to drink, had a few M&Ms, and hung out until it was time to go back for the little cocktail and cards mixer. This was an event where you could swap cards if you made or brought them, and they also had some drinks and appetizers. I did not participate in the card swap, but my sister did. And you'll see here that she had a lot of fun going around making trades. And I just kind of hung out in the corner, updated social media, and every once in a while somebody would come by with a tasty appetizer. 
Hey, so we just had some hors d'oeuvres and hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, and Lisa did the card swap. You want to show them a couple cards? Tons oh, of adorable goodness. cards. I'm kind of sad now. I did not do the card swap, and I almost made her a whole bunch the other day, but then I was too tired. How nice is she? She was actually gonna make me cards to swap. Okay, now this one oh, is, is simple, but look how pretty that is. Just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What other good one do we? I mean, there's so oh, many the, cute ones. So Don't many. get me wrong. Well, how about the lady we were talking to during cocktails? Okay, this one has to be shown. Oh, yes. That. It is a rainbow for Halloween. The the gal we were talking to yeah. down there, the yeah. calendar? We, we, you um, better talk long. Yeah. We were at a table with the lady here from Des Moines. Her name is Lynn. And Lynn, and she made calendars. calendars. So, but yes, tons of cute cards. Maybe I'll give you a quick flip through of them later. But we are just upstairs back outside the ballroom for dinner, waiting for dinner and entertainment. Oh, they're doing dueling pianos. I've never seen those before, so I'm super excited. But we will catch back up with you a little bit later. Hopefully some hopefully some shots from the entertainment we'll get to well, do. Yeah, we'll have we'll have some shots. <laughs> if nothing else, we'll talk about it tomorrow. There we go. <laughs> Before dinner, we had a presentation from a woman there who was from Wings of Refuge, which helped women get out of trafficking. And after she talked, there was a booth in the back you could stop by and they were selling candles and t-shirts to raise money. Then Taylor came on stage with some words about the day and for the evening. And she told us about a little icebreaker which when we went into the ballroom for dinner, they had a little clipboard with a pen and like a tic-tac-toe board. And we were supposed to go around and get those signed like it might be find somebody who likes Swedish fish. And let me tell you, normally this stuff sends my anxiety into overdrive. I am not a very extroverted person, but when Taylor mentioned that if you fill it out, you got a free stamp set, I was all over that. And here's a look at the little goodies we got for the mixer. There was a cute little polka dot pen and a half sheet clipboard with a sticker at the bottom that reads, do something creative every day. I forgot to get a full shot of the tic-tac-toe board, but here's a look at the stamp set. I think these sentiments are perfect for the occasion and it was even called meet and greet. After dinner, the dueling piano started and I put in a request in honor of my daughter. This is her favorite song, Industry Baby by Lil Nas X. I figured it would be a little challenge for the artists. I have never been to a dueling pianos event before, but let me tell you, this was loads of fun. Now, with my request, I did put in what I think they called a fiver. I didn't know at first that they took bribes, but once I saw people handing them money with their requests, I got up there because I wanted to see if they could play this. Although they didn't know Industry Baby, he said he could do Old Town Road. And here's a little bit of their rendition. I have to cut most of it out for copyright. Let's do some little Nas X. <laughs> I shared this video with my daughter after the event and she loved it so much. I will link Will, who's a male piano player, I will link his Instagram account in the description box below if you want to check out that. He does have some more videos online of him singing. And now here's a little bit more of Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> Many good songs were sang and played that night and there was even some dancing. My sister volunteered for YMCA and then Volin told me for the last half of YMCA. Thanks Lisa!
Hello, crafty friends. It is 9.05 p.m. probably, which is the latest I have been up in a while. Night one done, or yeah. day one <laughs> yeah, done. Yeah, day one done. We just had the dueling pianos, and Lisa and I both got a request played. Beyonce. All the single ladies. All, All the single, single ladies. ladies. <laughs> and Put I, hands up. Oh, oh, she's still oh, going. Oh, oh. She's still going. <laughs> I tried to get uh, my daughter Industry Baby by Lil Nas X. That's her favorite song currently. But he didn't know that one, but he did know Little Town Road, which you might know as well. So he played that. Good times, good food. Very good dinner. Uh, very yeah. good dinner. But so far it's a success, but oh, we... Oh. oh, did you see my cards? It's our card swap. Our swap. Um, we are tired though, so this is it for today. We will see you tomorrow. And look um, at... All the fun yeah. people back there, they're crazy. We gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of today's vlog. This is a series, so up on screen now is a link to the playlist, as well as the link to vlog number one, which was our trip here and meeting in the hotel. I will be back with two more videos, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll take a second and do that now. Thanks so much, and have a crafty day!